I mean, here's an instinct. When somebody's shooting at me, I'm going to run away. I'm not going to go back. So, so police officers have to overcome that instinct to go and stay and maneuver towards fire. That's overcoming their natural instinct. But there's sometimes where the methodology is wrong. And so you have to be good enough to overcome your methodology and go with your instincts sometimes. I used to, it's another thing I used to say to these young SEALs. If you, I'd say, hey, if you were going to go in that room right now and I was in there and you were 10 years old and I was 10 year old, years old and I had a squirt gun and you had a squirt gun and you were going to enter this room, how would you do it? And they'd show me. And I'd say, doesn't that make more sense than what you just did? And they'd say, yeah, it does. But they would follow some standard operating procedure that didn't make sense in a particular room. But they would do what they were taught to do, even though it didn't make sense. And the ability to decide whether your instinct is right or wrong, you get that ability by being able to take a step back and assess. And the way you get that ability to take a step back and assess is through training. And it takes time. And that's why I use that term, that, that, that idea of 20% of time for police officers should be spent training. And you're gonna end up with infinitely more qualified and prepared police. There was a um, there was a fighting methodology, a combatives methodology, a system that was being used in the SEAL teams, and it was it was it was it was ineffective. It was an ineffective system. But one of the reasons that it was argued to be a good system was because there was a one week course of instruction of this fighting methodology that if you took this one week course of instruction, then you were qualified and allegedly prepared for combat. Well, you can't learn to fight in one week. It's not gonna happen. You can't learn good combative skills in one week. And, and so I was bringing up to my chain of command, hey, this combative system is ineffective. We should use some kind of a more mixed martial arts combination of jiu-jitsu, wrestling, boxing, Muay Thai, using our weapons in those scenarios. And one of the arguments that I got against that idea was that, oh, that stuff takes years to learn. It takes, it takes years to learn this stuff. This stuff we can teach people in a week. Well, you know what I said to that? I said, well, we're in the damn teams for 20 years. Let people get good. You shouldn't tell someone that after a week of training, they're going to be good to go. They're not. Training has to happen all the time. And by the way, eventually we do have a great jiu-jitsu, wrestling, boxing, Muay Thai-based combative system in the SEAL teams, which is you also utilize your weapons, you utilize your gear, but it's based in these things that work. And it takes time to get good at. No one says, oh, you've been through a one-week course. You can handle yourself now. Because we know that that's not true. 